Welcome to day one of Autodesk University 2022. I'm Luke Mahelsik, and today I'm joined by Srinath, Vice President of Industry Strategy for Design and Manufacturing. Welcome to Autodesk University. Thank you, Luke. So today we're here talking about our partnership with ANSYS. Yeah. And if you could just give us kind of a, a high level description of kind of when that partnership started. It's been since about 2019. Yeah. Uh, but just what that partnership means to, to ANSYS, to Autodesk, and ultimately what it means to our customers. Yeah. So let me start with the uh, let's start with the partnership itself. I mean, we started the journey about 2019, as you said. And, and before I get into the partnership, let's talk about the market. What are the customers seeing? What are they experiencing? Yeah. And if you think about the manufacturing market, there are a few factors that are really top of mind for manufacturers today. First is increasing product complexity. Second is shorter product life cycles. And third thing, it is the expectations, growing expectations from customers. All of these things combined are making it hard for manufacturers to reconcile innovation pressure with time to market requirements. And this is where the partnership comes in. So what we want to do for manufacturers is improve their collaboration, help them design things faster, and also help them do more design exploration so that they can get more innovation in shorter amount of time. And you talk about design exploration, so ANSYS. You know, when I think of simulation, I think of ANSYS. Yeah. And I know that we've been working with them on some of the, the EMAG stuff inside of Fusion 360, but at AU, we're going to be announcing a brand new extension for Fusion. Can we talk about the extension yeah. uh, and some of the specifics of what that's going to, again, mean to some of the customers that might be leveraging them? All right, so let's get back to the, the requirements, the customer expectations right now. They want to reconcile innovation pressures, with time to market requirements. And manufacturers are looking to get the designs to a point where they understand how it meets the customer expectations and they want to do it in the shortest amount of time possible. So this is where the simulation extension powered by ANSYS comes in. We want to do this for consumer electronics because all the things I mentioned, increasing product complexity, growing customer expectations, mm -hmm. shorter product life cycle, all of these are now very, very clearly present in consumer electronics. With this simulation extension, we want to make sure that the design insights are readily available for engineers just at the time when they're doing the design. And that's what the extension is able to do. It's able to give real-time insights so that the designers can figure out how to optimize their product, printed circuit board design. So when you think about the future of our partnership and relationship with ANSYS, what do you think that's going to look like? It's about bringing simulation insights into the design process so that the designers have the necessary knowledge at the time of design to get it right as quickly as possible. And that's all about getting all kinds of sim physics and simulation into the Fusion 360 design process. We started with signal integrity, but the possibilities are endless, right? So if you think about the breadth and depth of what's possible with ANSYS simulation software, we have lots of things that we could continue to explore. And that's the next phase of our relationship with ANSYS.